Now this is from CBS Sports, ranking AFC wildcard contenders. Uh, they go Texans 1, Bills 2, Broncos and Steelers 3 and 4, they said. Browns are 5. Cleveland barely got by the hapless Steelers and then were blown out by the Broncos this past week. Next up for the Browns, underrated Rams and Jaguars. Fred, I, again, I'm, the Rams and the Jaguars, they match up much better with um, – Russell Wilson isn't playing. A Russell Wilson type quarterback is not playing quarterback um, for the Rams. And even Trevor Lawrence is not the same, for whatever reason, mobile quarterbacks that can avoid this pressure give the Browns problems. That ain't Matthew Stafford, and it's not really Trevor Lawrence. Well, that's what I said going into the Broncos game. They had the worst rushing defense in the NFL, giving up 160 yards, 32nd. And DTR, his strength, in my opinion, especially as a rookie, is his ability to scramble and to run. The Browns raved about him mimicking Lamar Jackson to the defense in the lead-up to the Ravens game, and that was one of the reasons they decided to go with him. I really thought they would implement more of that style of game for him to make things simpler for him, to just use his legs, run out of the pocket. Obviously, don't put yourself in harm's way, but run to the sideline, either dump it off or pick up five, six, seven yards. They started a little bit the other day, but Russell Wilson had the most, he had more carries than any Browns running back. And Jerome Ford averaged over seven yards of carry the other day, but he only had nine rushes. Russell Wilson ran the ball 11 times. I mean, He's 32, 33 years old, and that really set the tone in carving up the Browns' defense in the first half. So I don't know why you wouldn't just, you know, obviously if DTR doesn't play, you can't do it. But if he plays, that certainly is what I would start with instead of having him throw the ball all over the field. Well, to your point, so here's um, this comes from uh, Daryl Rodder, Browns beat reporter. Uh, Browns were 6 of 13, 78 yards passing on first down. They ran it eight times for 38 yards. That includes uh, one of those fumbles um, with DTR in the game. DTR threw it 29 times versus 15 carries combined for Ford and Hunt through three quarters um, against the number 32 ranked defense. Now, having said that, you're, you can't say run the ball, run the ball, run the ball into an eight or nine man box unless you do it with the quarterback like, uh, like they were doing with uh, Russell Wilson. I, I'm not advocating running the ball into a stacked box with Jerome Ford or Kareem Hunt. Uh, Nick Chubb didn't have a lot of success doing it. Those two guys certainly aren't. But y you got to scheme around it. Yeah, well, that's clearly what teams are going to do. They're going to make the rookie – as rookies do, they throw it into coverage and they get tricked and they get intercepted or make mistakes. That's why I just think, you know, I might be naive, but when a guy runs for 1,800 yards in college, you know, that was a question of Lamar Jackson coming out of college was that he was just a running quarterback. Obviously, he can throw the ball and so forth. But with DTR, I would think that that would be the best bet to get him going is – not running up the middle. Once in a while, you can do a quarterback draw, but obviously that's how Watson originally got hurt, is rolling them out, you know, where you use the sideline to get tackled instead of by a 250-pound linebacker, defensive tackle, chasing you down. So, yeah, I just, obviously, if he's not playing, you know, that changes things. They're going to stop. Flacco in the running game again and make him throw because you don't have a mobile guy back there and they're going to try to beat the tackles, you know, that have had trouble on edge rushers. So, you know, you have what you have, but as far as I just, I just don't understand, you know, why you wouldn't use the mobility. That's one of the reasons you took him because he had similar characteristics to Sean Watson and and when he was injured the first time, Watson, they said they can't take it out of his game. He's still going to run. Well, you can't take it out of DTR's game. Have him run and use his legs to pick up first downs.